they should automatically call the police out. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we've, we, uh, the police chief has talked with the manager of this apartment, and she's going to be getting a letter um, to the police department, letting them know that anyone that's on this property that has no business, to have them arrested for trespassing. Okay? Yeah. And I think that what you're going to find is it's, it's, it's a step in reclaiming, you know, we're saying the neighborhood, but let, when you start getting into specifics, in this particular uh, apartment complex, that's the problem that you're having. Okay, uh, as you can see, this well, yes. In fact, as uh, you know, I work very closely with uh, Officer Jay Olds. I didn't realize. Right. In fact, you, I was just letting them know that they'll, they will, the neighbors on this block will see us doing a lot of inspections together. Uh, between Jay and myself, we spend a lot of time together and it's a lot of hard work. I can tell you one day that we spent down here going from unit to unit, apartment, you know, knocking on doors. We spent uh, from 8.30 in the morning all the way to 1.15 in the afternoon talking with people, inspecting properties. Uh, during this time, I saw some of the worst cases of roach infestation that I've ever seen. Uh, we're not talking two or three walking, you know, uh, out during the daytime. You know, whenever you have a situation where you see roaches during the daytime, uh, you have infestation. Okay. I can tell you right now that we saw literally dozens of these things running in houses, living areas of these apartments, and that's just something that, that it's, it's unacceptable. Uh, you know, we're saying that uh, if you look at this block, you see a lot of potential. You see, uh, you know, a, an apartment complex that is really well kept. And then others that just seem to be neglected. And what we're doing is we're identifying the fact that, you know, wh where does the problem lie? Is it, is it the, the, the property owners? Is it the tenants? And I think that what we're going to be seeing here is it's an education process. It's, it's people beginning to understand and realizing that these conditions for their families to be raised in are unacceptable. Uh, it's property owners realizing that, wait a minute now, if I don't take care of my property, you know, the value depreciates. No one's going to want to move in there. And what they have is they wind up with vacant apartments. Right. And, you know, the, when, when we mentioned the education process, that's what it is. It's, it's being able to look at something and saying, this isn't right. You know, that something's got to be done about it. And I think that this is definitely a step in the right direction. It feels good for me. As, as right now being the only code enforcement officer for the city right now, okay? It feels good to know that I have the backing of the department heads and saying, Bill, do what you do. Okay, what you do best. And, and being able to go out there, do my inspections, and at the same time also realizing that there is a criminal element on the street that is causing problems here, of having that police officer with me. And in a way, it's almost... Uh, we're a small mobile committee in ourselves and that we represent uh, the cross complaints that were received on this block, which is across the criminal violations and code violations. <laughs> exactly. And I'm, I'm expecting great things from this because I, I see a, a snowball effect from this project here. I, and not only that, but I see a, the community really beginning to have that closeness again with City Hall. Sometimes those communication gaps are devastating. And I think that today was a, a really good show that there, we're opening up a communication, we're opening up dialogue, and we're now saying that there's got to be ways of addressing these problems than just the traditional methods, which always seem to fall short, and in a sense, we're always a Band-Aid solution. And they alienate, the traditional um, attempts alienate the community. <laughs> Right. Right. I, you know, there's there's always going to be the need for the authority, uh, you know, because they're the ones that say, no, this is the bottom line. We draw the line right here. This is you've broken the law. But when you're dealing in a situation where there you have the ability to go in and sit with people that are raising families and listen to what their concerns are, the conditions that they're living in. And they see that. I mean, they, they know. They know when, when uh, they're getting the, the 10 yards and they know when someone is really sincere in their desire to say, let's do something about the conditions here. And, 
right now I think this is definitely a step uh, in the right direction. I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited about it.